Hey everybody! Today I'm going to be talking about the Halloween Nick Box. And yes, it is past Halloween. It's the third today. And the light is kind of going down, so sorry about the um, low lighting in here. But I didn't get the box until uh, I want to say the 30th. And then I had stuff I was doing that day. I had to take my mom out for her birthday. And then, you know, the unboxing just didn't happen that day. And then the next day, I had to go to work. So this is the first day I'm able to actually unbox it on camera. wanted to do it on camera because, even though I don't do every one on camera, um, because it's the Halloween box. And this one, the box itself, is just so cute. Uh, there's everybody trick-or-treating, cat dog, Rocco, uh, the angry beavers down there. There's auto monsters in the windows, rugrats, and let's see, this is what the back looks like. Some spider webs, green slime, and just more green slime on the side. So yeah, um, very. this is like my favorite box that they've ever done. And that might be because it's a Halloween box and, you know, I, I love Halloween. I've kind of overdone it on Halloween videos, I feel like, haul videos and everything. And actually, um, I spent a lot of time taking eBay photos today. And so I'm going to be listing like 10 things later on after I do this video. And... And then I have another haul video coming uh, that's just kind of a ride-along. I went to like one sale yesterday after work, and they opened at 7, and I got some footage, and I kind of show you quickly like what I got just in my car. Nothing like too special. But anyway, I did want to show what's in the Halloween Nick box, and what I usually do, or what I have done, it is like just kind of close my eyes take a thing out and what I will say real quick is this is an extra small so if you're getting these um, this is something from the last Nick box and um, this is an extra small shirt but it fits more like a large you can see that kind of I do like my shirts big um, but this does feel like large so I usually fit more like a small or a medium. So if you're a large, I would say you could probably go either with a small or medium box easily. The, I was getting the smalls and just the stuff was too big. Let me see if I can kind of... Okay. Some more of the box here. All right. Now, on to the box. Okay. We usually get a card. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so there's usually a card in here. I'll put that aside. Okay, is it just a piece of paper? Yeah. It's usually like a heavier card stock. And I do already know like one thing in here. And I think I just saw a preview on accident. Sorry. Um, I do know one thing in here and I think I feel it right now. I s accidentally saw a spoiler on their website because they always want to give spoilers. But this is an Avril Monsters um, umbrella. And I do need an umbrella. The bottom is, the handle is, I can't remember their names. I remember Chrome, but I can't remember the other two monsters' names. But this is in the style of one of the monsters. And let's see. Oh, that's neat. It's like. Mostly black and white, I think. And it's got... I'm going to have to open this in the house. I mean, it definitely feels cheap, but... Can you see that? I'm going to have to look up her name. But, yeah, I, I actually did need an umbrella. So, And the good thing about the Nick boxes is that... The, the stuff inside usually you can use for yourself. So 
I do like that they stick to that. Sometimes it's just like a collectible vinyl figure, but sometimes it's actually stuff you can use. So I will definitely be using that. Okay, next thing. Okay, I think this is the thing I saw. No. Okay. This is a puzzle. I think I have gotten one puzzle before in another box, but this is basically, oh, this is cute. This is actually the, the box cover. They didn't want to waste the cover, I guess, on just like the box, but yeah, that's really, really cute. And it's 220 pieces, 17 plus. Um, I feel like a 10 year old could probably handle this, but eh, I don't have kids. What do I know? And yes, I am in my 30s opening a box of toys. It's fine. I've made amends with myself. Um, oh, cool. Okay, these are glow-in-the-dark socks. Are you afraid of the dark? And I do have an Are You Afraid of the Dark shirt already. So now I have some socks that match. And these, yeah, one size fits most. So that's cool. Let's see. Okay, I think this is the thing I saw on the paper. Oh, uh, okay. So this kind of sucks because we've actually already gotten one of these in a previous box. It's a Raphael. I could actually, I don't know, I have it somewhere still. I'm trying to, I think I'm going to sell it. I'll probably sell this one too. This is a glow-in-the-dark one, glow-in-the-dark ooze edition, and this looks like Leonardo. So, it's kind of neat if you really love the turtles, but, um, I don't know, we just kind of, like, don't need clutter like this. So, I actually did cancel this box, um, because after you have a few of these boxes, it just becomes, it's too much. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. Oh my god. Zeke the Plumber, and it is a shirt from, okay, this is, um, if you remember, Salute Your Shorts, they had a guy that would come kill you, and he would smell your fear, that's why it says that up here, and he would come after you based on what your fear was. And kind of like a Freddy, but, and it comes in a, a neat box. And the back says, I asked for ruffled potato chips, Bobby Budnick, makes Attack of the Cheese Monster look like cute animal videos, the Nick Buck News. What's the big deal? My dad has one of these at home, Michael Stein. It's my favorite Zeke-themed article of clothing, Matt Caputo, smiling politely. These are all characters from the show. Which I used to love. Actually, the last Nick box, the only reason I ordered it is because of Salute Your Shorts things coming in. And they were kind of okay. It was like a thermos, and um, they had some actual shorts that said Salute Your Shorts on it. But this is amazing. I am so happy I got this. I would have almost paid the price just for this shirt. Anyway, I love it. This is obviously my favorite thing. <laughs> so neat. And the box is cool, too. I'll wait to put that back in there. Oh, my God. I am, I'm happy. Someone was actually saying they were disappointed with this. And I could see why because of this, but Zeke's shirt makes up for it. Let's see if there's anything else good in here. Okay, this is a Chucky planter. I don't know what a planter has to do with Halloween. But let's let's open this thing. And I do sell the stuff that I don't um, use. But yeah, that's actually usable. But I have nowhere to put plants. Uh, my apartment is what I would call self-contained and <laughs> that means there's no you can't even put planted stuff 
out on the porch or anything out on the balcony. Um, they don't allow that. So this might be something I can give to my mom or maybe even my sister. I'm not sure. Or I could I could sell it. Um, uh, Rugrat stuff is actually doing pretty well on eBay. Um, I've sold like some napkins recently. Rugrats like some actual vintage stuff. Um, so Rugrat stuff does do well. Um, there's a new Rugrats movie coming out. So, and we got some pins. This is an Are You Afraid of the Dark door pin. That's like super big. That's at least two inches long. Neat. And it's from The Tale of a Door Unlocked, Season 5, Episode 2. So that's cool. What, not much left in here. Interesting. This is a mask from all that. I don't remember what this was from. I watched the hell out of the show, but I don't remember what this is from. So I'll have to look. Maybe on the paper it says. And is there anything else? Nope. Just some a silica pack. Nothing from Rocco. I'm surprised. I don't think. Um, no, nothing from Rocco. They've, these boxes have been fairly Rocco heavy, which I love. Um, Rocco is one, one of my favorite shows. Okay, so we got, yeah, the, the mask just says all that piece of face cosplay mask. Ah, Real Monsters Oblina Umbrella. That's her name. Nicktoons Halloween Jigsaw Puzzle. Salute Your Short to Zeke the Plumber t-shirt. Are You Afraid of the Dark? Glow in the Dark Socks. And the pen actually... Let me open this real quick. I might be selling the pen. I don't see me really using. I don't use a lot of pens in general. I do have a friend who likes pens. Okay. It's hard to open. But there you go. Okay, that's kind of neat. Maybe I'll send this to someone. Alright, and that is it. And just um, a recap. Oh wait, did I finish reading the... Anyway, um, so TMNT Leonardo Ice Cream Pop Glowing Ooze Edition, um, Rugrats Chucky Desktop Planter, Jigsaw Puzzle, I already said that, and Oblina Umbrella, so that's it, and this is another card with that artwork on it. So overall, hmm, I don't know what I would give this out of 10 stars, but um, the... Easily the umbrella and the shirt are my favorite. I have no idea what I would do with this. The Chucky planner is okay, but I'm going to have to give that away or sell it because I can't plant anything. This I'll probably definitely be selling. And the socks I'll probably be keeping. So, alright, and that's it. And thanks for watching my toy unboxing. If you like the Nick Box um, and you like what you see here and you want more stuff like that, they're about $55, which is on the pricier side. And But I think it's overall a decent value, especially if you sell on eBay and you can like get rid of the stuff easily or you like giving stuff away as presents. A lot of the stuff would be good for that. Um, yeah, and I bet this is very popular on eBay right now, but I'm not selling mine. But anyway, alright, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.